same war, but worlds apart. Was sent here to investigate murder, but I uncovered something else. I want bodies. Now season na podvodnicata. Vseki četvrtek v 22 po Epic Drama. I think we can start. Perfect. So, yeah, um, Tom, my first question is, are you still having fun playing uh, this morally ambiguous, like um, uh, morally gray character with a touch of the villain, the anti-hero type? And uh, what can you tell us about the arc of your character going into the next season? Well, uh... To answer your first question, yeah, I, I, I totally am still having fun playing morally ambiguous characters because um, it's pretty much what life is about. Huh? I mean, I, there is no there is no good and bad, and uh, uh, none of us are saints. Um, at least I think so. So for an actor, it's always uh, a bigger challenge, but also like it's more gratifying to play a uh, multi multi layered character because you can like bring out different sides and my uh, my character arc in the uh, third season of this boat especially when we when we leave foster at the end of season two he's being sent to he's being promoted he's being sent to poland uh to work at a concentration camp and um so he's totally career driven even though he's already has some doubts about what 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 he's doing but he uh, uh, accepts the position And when season three starts off, there has been a, a time gap and we see him for the first time as a civilian. He's being sent to Portugal to investigate um, the death of a uh, member of the Gestapo. And uh, it's somewhat being left in the dark what happened in between, but we can clearly see that he's a, that he's a broken man when uh, season three starts. And um, yeah, and as the third season progresses, he gets more and more, he gets uh, entangled in this, uh, in this net of uh, intrigues and uh, he finds himself um, being played, basically. Perfect. Uh, when you have to play a uh, broken man, a broken character, does this have any emotional toll on you What is like, do you have like, um, I don't know, maybe some uh, protocol for preparation to play like a broken character, a broken man? Because it's a very, uh, I, I guess you have to get into a very special state of mind to actually uh, portray this type of uh, mentality uh, on the screen. It's a very good question. Uh, but I'm, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not a method actor, so... Uh... I don't really believe in method, uh, so I'm a very like I, I come, come more from like a a technical approach. Uh, so what we were being taught in drama school was mainly Stanislavski Brecht, so the very very technical way of of, of acting. Um, uh, ideally, I think it's a combination of of, of both. Uh, you, you, of course, you try to to project yourself into into situations uh, to portray certain. Uh, certain characters, but it's uh, yeah, it's more. How how do you do it? It's uh, you try to you try to imagine what it would be like in a situation like that, and um, yeah, and then if you have a good script and uh, uh, good partners on 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 set, then yeah. And just a little bit of a continuation of that on the. A distinction between like a technical type of acting and the method acting. Still, uh, when you uh, were, uh, uh, for example, on the set playing this uh, uh, character in some scenes that you are like this uh, really in a dire strait, broken character, do you uh, take some of this baggage back home, or you 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 were you are able at this point to cut off and just like you're yourself? No, I, I I completely leave that on set, and yeah. the minute uh, the last scene is over, I I become myself again. Yeah, great. And tell me uh, a little bit, a couple of words about the filming process. Did you catch uh, some of the madness of the measures and the lockdowns and the chaos of uh, the pandemic filming the season? Was it like a drastically different? 
I mean, we were, it wasn't drastically different because when we filmed, of course, I mean, there was uh, precautionary measures. We had to get tested every morning. Uh, we filmed a large part of the story. We uh, filmed in Malta. Um, mm, yeah, great we, country. Like, yeah, all the, all the crew and the actors stayed at one hotel, which was in the end turned out to be pretty cool because normally you're always in different locations and this time yeah. because of COVID and just because we needed to get tested and to, to isolate, we were all in the, in, in the same hotel for, uh, for six weeks. Um, but that was actually quite nice because uh, you, you, you got to know uh, people uh, more closely. And it, it's, yeah, luckily we didn't have any, any COVID incidents uh, while shooting. No uh, delays, no like, no, it was uh, pretty yeah. smooth. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when you uh, uh, when you talk about Malta, uh, I was wondering uh, uh, your scenes with your great character in Game of Thrones, of course. Where where did where would, were those scenes? Uh, was there like did you film in Ireland or in Malta or somewhere else? I most of my scenes were filmed in Ireland at the, at the studios, but I also had some some of my uh, outdoor scenes were filmed in Croatia. Uh, oh yeah, in Croatia, the third major uh, location. Yeah, yeah, and Spain, I, and Spain. I know there was some filming in Malta, but I wasn't part of that. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, and uh, tell me now, you are playing in this like historical drama, but do you have like an interest in recreating maybe a historical figure? And have you ever thought about uh, some major historical figures and uh, passing through your mind? And you were like. Yeah, maybe I, I I I would like to play this historical figure. And my connection is, of course, uh, talking about German German uh, cinema. Maybe the the mostly appreciated and the greatest actually portrayal of a uh, historical figure. I think I don't know about your opinion was maybe by Bruno Ganz in The Downfall. You know that like is probably the most for an outsider view probably the most legendary like portrayal of historical figure in modern German cinema or no. Definitely, I mean, it was uh, uh, yeah. Bruno Ganz was one of the one of the outstanding great uh, uh, German Swiss actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that was an incredible performance. Uh, but you asked me if I would like to play a historical figure. I mean, I, yes. that's, I'm a little bit ambiguous about that because if you play an actual historical figure, um, you're. I mean, you can only play an interpretation of that i mean that, that yeah. might come close to the truth but it's not necessarily the truth so there's mm -hmm. always this um the little i see a little problem in that because you're none of us has the has the opportunity to actually meet those people of the past um and then you're giving your interpretation and that becomes suddenly the truth yeah, yeah. For everyone, which I yeah, find tricky. Yes. So absolutely, I, yeah. if you mess up, like it's it's not a good thing. But of course, you know, a lot of actors are shooting for this, always for this, like the big uh, biopic, you know, because it's it could be like a legendary. You know, the, the recent example is with Elvis. You know, it's a, it's a big responsibility, obviously. I yeah. Mean, I just, uh, last year, I, I, I shot a Swedish movie. Hilma, that's about to come out, and um, uh, I played Rudolf Steiner, the, the Austrian philosopher. And mm. I found that quite tr tricky because you have a responsibility as an actor yeah. to, to be yeah. true. To, yeah. uh, what was the time period of the of the movie? Uh, around 1900. Mm, great. And uh, you read uh, what? Uh, it, it will it be in like a Swedish language a film? Or... No, it's, English. it's English language. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, where will uh, where will it come out? It's going to come out in October. Yeah. And uh, do you still do theater work? I would love to, but it's not very practical at the moment because I travel so much with the filming. Uh, yeah. um, it, 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 it's tricky to for every theater performance because we have a repertory theater system in, 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 in Germany. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Rehearse, and then you only play the show two, three times every month over a long period of, uh, mm. of time. So it's tricky to, to manage that time-wise. Yeah. yeah, and do you follow, for example, like uh, uh, where are you mostly based uh, these days, like in Germany or you're mostly traveling? 
No, no, I'm based in Berlin, but most of my jobs are all yeah. over. The world. Yeah, but uh, do you fall? Uh, do uh, do you think that like um, the whole film going and film shooting, you know, also of course serious shooting experience and process uh, rejuvenated and uh, like get back together after COVID, or it's still like struggling? What's your like your perspective? No, I think we're back to the way it was before. Back to business. Uh, yeah, I mean there was a short yeah. break. Uh, for a few months where filming stopped everywhere and then now it's back to, to, to normal. I mean, and we have to get on. I mean, we cannot uh, yeah. uh, let COVID dictate our lives forever. I mean, it's, 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 I think it's a good thing that we're moving on. Yeah. And um, if you want to share with the public and tell about some, some of your like uh, future work or something in development, well, as I said, Hilma is coming out uh, in October, yes. and um, then I did another uh, series for stars in the States, uh, Dangerous Liaisons, and that's, I think, going to start in, in, in November at some point. Yeah. Is it uh, like based on this, uh, the classic work when John Malkovich played Valmont? It's based on the, the original novel uh, yeah. uh, from the 18th century. Uh, yes, yes, yes. By Chaudalot de la Cloix. And um, but it also adds characters, and the, so the novel is also, also different characters, yeah. And uh, what are you playing in this series? Uh, what's your character? I'm playing a surgeon, an ambitious, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> because you also would be perfect for Valmont, you know, <laughs> yeah. And uh, now, uh, uh, this the series, how many episodes did you do in these seasons? Is uh, this season was it like, um, uh, for you, uh, heavy on like uh, more screen time, more physical engagement, or or like uh, even with the uh, the previous seasons. Oh, I think it's it's it, it's pretty much uh, the story continues uh, as it was. So we have different storylines, and my storyline takes place in Portugal this time, and it's kind of like, and that's what I really loved about it. It's like a story within the story because it's it's filmed as a Film noir as a oh yeah a, yeah the old school like yeah Anka, uh, so that was the um, that's what what was the intention and so it's a spy it's a spy thriller uh, yeah. within the big story of uh, the sport yeah yeah the great like forties fifties uh, dramas of uh, Hollywood and Europe also the the film noir aesthetic the whole aesthetic and when you uh, you were saying uh, in previous interviews that creating a character like this is always a, a collaborative effort. Uh, do you add uh, something, uh, so, some of your ideas for, for the development of your character in this, um, in, in this season? Uh, were they like, it, you're talking with uh, producers, screen, uh, the screenwriters and directors, and it's like you're meeting and you're fleshing out and develop uh, your um, ideas uh, with some touch of improvisation, or it's like more, rigid, more uh, uh, by the book um, process. You know, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you play a character over uh, several seasons, and of course you, you talk to producers and writers and you, you it's, it's like brainstorming. You try to think uh, where the journey could go and where mm -hmm. this particular character uh, could end up. Uh, and so there've been, these exchanges, but in the end, it's uh, we have great uh, writers, and uh, so they came up with the with the idea of the film noir and the storyline. Mm -hmm. The challenge for my character in particular was that for the first uh, in the first two seasons, I mean, he's already uh, uh, done so much uh, evil and committed so many crimes that I was a little bit worried about. Uh, where this could lead, you know, because I didn't yeah. see uh, a lot of potential in that uh, direction, I said, to go further to that. So I was very happy about the, the turn of events.